This is the Yana's Poppy die set. There are two different cutting dies in this set, one that creates the shadow and one that creates the flower. I often like to use the shadow with some vellum cardstock so it doesn't have a lot of presence on the card, but it is a nice base to glue onto. And what I also like to do with this die cut is die cut it use some press and seal to take that entire thing out of the die set all at once and then i do ink blending on the die cut all at once by having it on the press and seal it keeps all those pieces in place here i'm using it with some interference inks and i like to use some black ink ahead of time so that i can really take advantage of the properties of those ink pads you can do this with just plain ink pads as well and just do plain ink blending. But by leaving that die cut and all of those pieces in there, it makes the paper piecing go so much quicker and so much easier. You can easily put the outline onto the shadow and then just put some glue in different areas one at a time or a few at a time and pull the petal pieces out of the die cut and just insert them just like a puzzle but because all of those pieces are left where they're supposed to go it's very easy to know where each and every single one of those pieces go as well as the fact that it's a lot easier to do that ink blending while it's all intact for the second card that i created i used some strong double-sided tape on top of cardstock then die cut it with my die facing the tape backing and then i'm taking piece out of individual pieces off of, of that backing off and painting it with some mica powders. It creates a fun shimmery look that just has a different look than cardstock and it's a fun way to enhance your cards and makes a great accessory on the top of your cards. This is a fantastic die set that you can use in so many different ways and create some stunning florals.